classic black smoky eye is the look that I'm going to show you guys how to do today. It's really easy. You just need to work with some blending a bit. You need just a couple good brushes, a stiff dome brush, and a blending brush. And I'm going to use a mixture of MAC and Smashbot products today, but this is what it looks like. Something just elegant and classic that you could wear on a beautiful night out or a nice date with your significant other. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. So I'm using a different base today besides my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I know you guys are going to be surprised. I'm using a mixture of Smashbox and MAC products today. And I'm using Lava Cream Eyeliner Base. And this is a Smashbox one. And it's a gray color. It has just a teeny bit of shimmer. I'm going to take the 217 brush, that stiff dome one, and I'm going to use that to apply this base all over the lid. And the reason I'm using this instead of, say, um, Max Black Ground Paint Pot or a black eyeliner, it just is easier to blend, especially when you're getting above the crease, if you use something that's gray colored instead of black. You could do black if you want something really, really intense, but it's just hard to blend up here and smoke it out when you have such an intense color. So gray is a nice compromise. If you're um, a NARS fan, there's a cream eyeshadow called Lily Marlene. And if you're a NYX fan, you can use Slate Eye Pencil. That will work. But I still suggest that you use this stiff dome brush to um, apply it so it gets it feathered out. Hold on, I'm going to pin my bangs did this last time too. I don't know why they're being so stubborn today. Okay, I don't look stupid, but at least you guys can see now. So once you get this applied, just a bit above the crease. Now for me, since I have, you know, again, I have a lot of space up here, so I'm going to play with it. I'm going to bring it up some. But if you don't have that much space, don't go quite as high as I am. Because you still want to leave about that much room for a highlight in here. Then I'm going to use the MAC um, Smoky Eyes palette. It's called Fascinating Ruby. This is the one from Christmas, and it's the red one that looks like that. Um, so if you have that, pull it out. But if not, I'm going to use um, black, a kind of gray color, a light gray. This one's like a very, very pale silver, and then a neutral color. Um, so those are the four I'm using. I'm not using the browns at all. So if you have something similar to that, you can use those instead. Go back in with that stiff dome brush and wipe it off really well. And we're going to pick up that black color and apply this all to the lid. And I like using the dome brush versus a flat shader one because it just gives a more feathered out look. And it's easier not to go overboard and apply too much color. So then you get it really intense and you'll start looking like a panda. As my friend Lauren will say, Kung Fu Panda. We were practicing one morning when she was here because we were getting ready to do the Ann Arbor seminar, the first one, and um, we were practicing at 3 a.m. and we were both so tired and so I was doing a look on her and um, I must have been too tired. She looked horrible and so she said that I made her look like Kung Fu Panda. So anytime I go at her with some dark colors on her eyes, she's like, don't make me Kung Fu Panda. I'm taking the gray color right here and I'm going into the crease with that kind of soften it a bit and just again smoke that out wipe that off really well still using that same brush that 217 and I'm going in with that really really pale silver color it's almost like a shimmery white it's so pale and I'm applying this up above where I applied that um, dark gray color I'm going to concentrate some here in the inner part of the eye and smoke that or blend that in. Then I'm going to switch to a softer dome brush to give me a, I guess, softer effect just to kind of even everything out so it's not so harsh. And just keep working that with a dry brush until it's evenly blended. Do you see how easy that was just using those two brushes? Then you can pick up that color that's close to your skin tone with that fluffy dome brush and apply this under the brow bone. Come in here to the tear duct again. And you want to blend out here too so that part isn't too intense. So 
So you really just need mainly two brushes or a third one because I'm going to use that one next. I'm using that pencil brush and I'm picking up some black and I'm going to smoke under here under the lower lashes and just smudge that in as much as you want. For me, I'm going to go about two thirds of the way in like that. Wipe it off on an old clean towel. Pick up some of that silver color and put that on the inner part of the eye and then blend that over into the black. And then if you want to make this part a little bit more smudged out, you can pick up that gray color and just start thickening it a bit. Just like that. Then I'm going to pick up some black color with that same pencil brush and I'm going to put more color here on the outer part of the eye close to the lashes. Let me see if I can zoom in so you guys can see that a little bit more. Okay, so right in here. Just smudge it right against the lower lashes. Staying on the outer part of the eye. That really small brush. So you want this part of the eye to be a little bit darker. Just kind of feather that in. Once you get that smoked out the way that you want, you can apply your eyeliner. And I'm using the Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner in zero and it's just a nice rich black color. I'm going to go up um, to the upper water line. We're calling this tight lining and that's just to thicken my lashes a bit and make it to where there's no flesh color showing through that black shadow. Since it's so intense I want everything up there to be black. Then I'm going to line the water line. Pull it down just a bit. Just smudge it in there. Then you could put just a little bit out here under the lower lashes just to kind of intensify that as much as you want. Then I'm going to apply my false lashes. Anytime you have something that's just so dark and so dramatic, you kind of want to apply false lashes. You don't have to, but I like to because it opens up my eyes just a little bit more because I have such heaviness here with the dark colors. So the ones I'm going to use today are the Ardell 102 Demis, and they look like this. And they look more dramatic on here than what you think. They look like this. They just add a nice bit of fullness to your eyes. Um, we do have these in our store on the site if you want to get those. Um, if not, some Targets or drugstores may have them. Um, but anyways, I'm going to apply those, come back, and then I'll show you what to do with the rest of the face. Now here's an extra little step that you can do if you want. I'm going to add just a teeny bit of clear glitter in here, and this is Max. Girl Groove Glitter Liner, and I think it came out with the Hello Kitty collection. It looks like that. I'm just going to put a teeny bit near the inner tear duct just to brighten that up a bit. You just need a small amount. Something just like that, and it adds a nice little pop to open up and brighten your eyes a bit. Now for the cheeks today, I already have my blush and all that applied since I had that on throughout the day, but I'm going to touch up my highlighter and I'm going to use the Emmanuel Ungaro um, Cream Base in Fresh Morning. It's a really pretty non-shimmery cream color to just add a nice glow to my skin. Let me show you guys how to apply that. I am absolutely loving this product. I already went um, on eBay and bought my second one just in case that they don't have this anymore. If I go through it really quick, I want to make sure I have extra, but just applying this with my ring finger and dabbing it on the top of the cheekbone, coming a little bit here under the eyes. And let me show you the difference between this side and this side. Do you see the difference, how this gives me a nice natural glow there? So I really like that. I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. Just pick up a bit. Just dab it on with that ring finger. Sorry I'm not looking at the camera. I'm like trying to show you guys use the camera as a mirror. Something like that. And it just gives a really nice glow. Now for the lips, I'm going to use um, Flesh Pot Lipstick. And I got the one from the Heatherette Collection. It looks just like this. They do have this in the Pro line if you want to look for that. Um, another option you can use for this would be Myth Lipstick. And it's just a light colored lipstick that blanks out your lips. Another good nude lipstick for medium skin tones is um, Blankety. 
and if you're darker, I think it's Creme de Cup is a good neutral. So I'm blending this out to mute out my lips. And then I'm going to go over it with a gloss, and it's a Smashbox one called Pronto, and it's a little sample size one, and it came in the kit that looks like this. It had several different colors here. So I grabbed this kind of nude colored one. It's really pretty, and it's not sticky at all. I really am liking this. And it just gives your lips a nice glow. And these are perfect for putting in your purse, too. I'm going to take a couple colors with me when I go to um, Florida tomorrow. When I'm traveling, I can just throw them in my purse and I'm good to go. So let me zoom out so you guys can see the whole look. So that is the classic black smoky eye. Just something elegant, <clears throat> excuse me, dramatic yet elegant that you could wear on the weekend or for a really nice evening out. So I hope that was easy enough for you guys. Um, pull out those products and try this out. I know you'll love this look. It looks good on pretty much everyone. So thanks for watching guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye. You can go your own.